Hi, everyone. We'd like to thank you all for attending this year's Avenza User Conference and share with you all an update on how Avenza Maps has grown since the past user conference and what we have on our radar moving forward to next year. But first off, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tristan Little, and I am a senior product manager here with Avenza Maps. I have been working closely with our users since I first got here over 10 years ago as a member of the support team. And those same user interactions are what drives the solutions we design, scope, and implement in all our future app versions. And I'm Hamza Salman. I'm a product manager with Avenza Maps. I've been at Avenza since 2021, and my main focus is product discovery and research, optimizing developer operations, and user testing. Now let's talk about what we promised from our last user conference and how these features can improve your existing Avenza Maps experience. Starting with layer UI improvements. The layer screen will be updated to help you access the tools you want more easily, streamlining existing workflows. This means you can trigger numerous actions from multiple locations without always having to find your way to a specific map or a feature. With base maps beta, base maps is bringing greater flexibility and coverage to events and maps. Now you'll never be without a map wherever you go. You always have the ability to use the tools you need when you need them. More layers and data sets will be added in the future to cater to the diverse needs of our users. Whether you're exploring the great outdoors or you're collecting data in a remote work environment, you can count on the base map of your choosing. You can also now count on multi-page PDF. Import PDF files with multiple maps and with the new multi-select flow, choose how you want to import them. This new format allows for easier importing and access to two critical maps necessary for your activities. As an added benefit to Teams, app admins will also find it easier to distribute map packages to their crews on the field, and users will find it easier to get all the maps they need at the top of the button. With elevation service, you will now be able to fetch elevation values from individual map features such as place marks or entire layers to collect data in a quick and easy manner. This feature is also accessible from the draw and measure panel, layers, and place mark screens. We have plans to expand the usefulness of the service to more map features in the future. On the topic of usefulness, our 4.3 release was focused on performance improvements, and Events and Maps is now faster than ever. App startup and load times are 15 to 20% faster, PDFs process 60% faster, and TIFF and JPEG files can load up to 80% faster. Furthermore, map data can now be processed in the background, so you can leave the app to import any relevant data in the field. We're continuously improving app performance to ensure you have more time to access the maps you need. Events and Maps will also now be supporting the import and export of GeoPackage, a powerful format that allows for the packaging of both vector and raster data. GeoPackage maps can now be imported into the app for even greater flexibility when it comes to creating maps. This will allow for some pretty powerful functionality to be added in the app for upcoming versions. All of these features and more will be available as of Avenza Maps 4.3, which will be released to beta users in the coming days. If you wish to join the Avenza Maps beta program, we will provide a link in the chat following this presentation. Speaking of upcoming versions, I'll now hand it off to Kristen, our senior product manager, to talk about what you can expect in future versions of Avenza Maps. Thanks, Hamza. And here is a little sneak peek of what's to come in Avenza Maps this year. First and foremost is an update on base maps. Uh, the feature has been something that users have been wanting for years, and we have been working hard under the hood to make this a reality for some time. As Hamza mentioned, the past couple beta versions have shared some sneak peeks of how this will look and feel. This year, we are planning on rolling out additional layers and data types. The goal is to provide valuable sets for however you use the app. Topo sets like NRCAN, USGS, recreational data sets like the popular motor vehicle use maps from the US Forest Service, NOAA charts and data, satellite imagery, and others have been identified as must-have base maps that you will see in the app in the near future. The map viewer will also be getting a facelift in conjunction with base maps and to help support the other map and data formats we have added. Over subsequent releases, we will be optimizing screen real estate, making tools and menus easier to access, and simplifying the overall user experience. The map viewer is the single most important user interface 
in Avenza Maps. So it is of utmost importance to us that we keep your user experience easy and enjoyable when using it. And as we support more maps and data types, workflows will become more complex. The new notification center will be your place to view and interact with your in-app activities, from map alerts to any required actions. This feature will also work synchronously with multi-page PDF support to ensure a frictionless experience from importing to then accessing your maps. You'll never miss an important map update again, and you'll always know the status of your maps and data, which we realize can be very precious to you. A lot of time and effort goes into curating the maps you want and the journeys you have taken with them. Backup and Restore will allow you to save all your maps and data in a single package that you can archive and store in a safe location. It can then be imported when moving to a new device without having to import all of your maps and data piece by piece. And for our professionals, this can also mean that you can share sets of maps and data relevant to your workflows in a single package to streamline it with other members of your team. Symbology is a critical tool to help customize your maps and collect data. We will be providing some major updates to these tools in order to help you better manage your existing symbol sets, access a wider variety of new sets, and even create your own sets using emojis. Professional users will also be excited to hear that these improvements go beyond just place marks. Line and area styles are getting an upgrade too, which will allow you to access standardized line styles from MCNA and the NWCG symbol sets. And another important feature for customizing your maps are photos. Photos are how you document your adventures or capture critical data in the field. With our photo metadata feature, the app will automatically add even more context to your captured photos. You'll be able to view additional details with your images like location information, orientation, altitude, and more, all of which can then be exported with your data layers, adding even more utility to your data sets. And these are just a few of the few new features and tools we are looking to put into your hands over the next year. We'd like to thank you again for your support and for attending this year's Avenza User Conference. Search for Avenza Maps on all these social media platforms, and we encourage you to connect with us and to keep the feedback coming. It's users like you who drive app improvements like these. Thank you, and navigate with confidence.